Hello and welcome everyone. I am here with my good friend, Ottawa Welshman. Hey, thanks so much for having me. The pleasure is all mine, buddy. And do we have a special treat for you. Today, we are going to be playing the first ever game of Crusader Kings 3 Bingo. Yeah, I'm really excited with what we came up with. Honestly, I think it's going to completely change the way people play multiplayer with their friends. Do you want to explain it a little bit more? I would love nothing more. Me and Ottawa have the same exact card filled with various actions that we need to perform in game. Things ranging from playing as a character with obesity to killing the Pope. Similar to real bingo, once either of us has completed five of these actions in a line, we will have won the bingo game and winner gets to annex Poland. As for our starting locations, we wanted to make sure to be nearby each other while not being direct competitors, so we chose 13 kingdoms from Central Europe, put them in a randomizer, and rolled to see where each of us would start. Oh baby. Oh, baby. oh that's interesting. It's not bad. Oh, I was so close to Poland, dude. I was so close. For our characters, we thought it would be fun for each of us to create them individually and then give them to the other guy. Uh, you know you gotta bump the bus size up. You know what to do, just so the uh, the kids. <laughs> I hope you like playing as Mega Mind. Oh, and she's gonna be confused. I'll tell you that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, the classic chin goatee. Oh my days. This guy literally looks like he hangs out at the bus stop and talks to teenage girls. He's just like a knockoff Macklemore. It's perfect. And let's get a look at what his character looks like for me. Oh my god, this is something else. His legs are killing me. It's like chicken wing legs. He is quite suspicious. Time to see what he cooked up for me. Too. He looks like a sickly child. So what we did for our character stats and traits is we started out with a skill of seven and then we went through and added back all of the character traits that our original characters have so that way we could play with our customized characters while kind of keeping the same vein of the places that we rolled. And if you want to play as either of those nightmares, links to the DNA are down in the description. I sold my soul for B-I-N-G-N-O. Let's clear the table. So here we are in our lovely duchy of Bohemia. You can see we're holding three separate castle holdings right now. We actually got super lucky with our role because you can see right over here, we have a county that has a gold mine, which is pretty awesome. We're definitely going to get working on that right away. The first thing that I'm actually going to have to do is rename this duchy. We'll just call it Zeely's Land. If we look around at some of the vassals that we have there, all of their counties are actually tribal holdings. If we did revoke these from them, we wouldn't get any benefits from it because it would be the wrong type of holding. So I think we'll have to spend some time building up our own strength before we declare war on anybody to try to get some more counties. Taking a look at the bingo card, there are definitely some tasks that are easier than others and I'm thinking the top row looks like something that we could definitely get done. Um, the plus 10 gold I think will be pretty doable once we get this gold mine built. Going down the gallantry is pretty easy. Having four eligible heirs might be a little bit difficult to do as well as sleeping with a direct family member. And then the last thing on there is breaking away from our liege. And you can see right now we are an independent realm. I might have to offer my services up to some of these kingdoms nearby and then over time break away from them. Over here you can see Ottawa Welshman's land. Um, he decided to actually start as a count in the Duchy of Bavaria, which is a pretty interesting choice. Not really sure why. He's definitely got some sneaky plots going on. So I was told we were supposed to describe our plans for this game. I'm gonna be honest, I have literally no plans. I'm just gonna play my game, try and do as best as I can, and kind of take my opportunities where they come. Why I selected this little subset of Bavaria is because it has a gold mine, this special building. The next thing I'm gonna do is talk to my liege here. I'm gonna modify my feudal contract and I'll give him high levies in exchange for guaranteed council rights. Note the amount of gold we're making. What I'll then do is go ahead and demand a council position and demand to be his steward. So I get even more gold. Now we're making three gold per turn. So I've seen a lot of suspicious things in CK3. But one of the most has got to be the bishop with the lover's pox tree. How are you going to tell me that you got that, eh? Do you care to explain to me how you got that disease? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Round 
one. Fight. And we have begun the game. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is actually um, start going down the gallant tree. Going up the gallant tree is one of the bingo cards. So I'm going to try and see if I can't grab this because I have such a high boost to my marshal already. So I'm going to want to start pumping out the kids as quickly as possible. So I'm going to try to find somebody with the fecund trait. This thing is fecund. Uh, might not be a bad show to have a ton of airs right off the bat because that's another one of the bingo card is have four airs or have seven kids. So one thing I actually think I'm also going to do is go on a pilgrimage early because what I want to do is convert to Catholicism so that we can pester the Pope for money pretty much the entire game as long as we have a good opinion with him. I'm going to come over here to the papacy and begin to sway the Pope. We're going to want to trade our piety for gold. So just like that, we picked up the pilgrim trait and we should have enough faith to go right over here. You can see most of our vassals will convert with us. Only a couple of mayors won't. Excellent. And this woman has agreed to marry us. The first thing I'm going to do is attempt to... I cannot... Oh, I can't seduce my wife. That is so brutal. Can I imprison her? 38% chance. Oh. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. So I think one thing that I can do right away is actually swear my fealty to the Great Moravia. So eventually, whenever we are strong enough, I'll be able to break away from him. All right, so uh, my wife in the trait pregnant, but she's not even here. She's in, uh, she's in Italy, so uh, that's a little suspicious, I guess. And how did you come across this valuable wunderkind? So we just got this little message here that one of our vassals has become feudal. That actually makes it worth it for us to take this land away from him now. So what I'm going to do is actually pump up our crown authority to level 2. And then we can go over here and revoke his title. Yoink. Which probably will start a war with him. And we do have a pretty heavy troop advantage here so we should be able to kick this guy's ass. So enforcing our demands puts him in my jail. So now if I click on him, you can see when I go to revoke his land, it gives us a 100% chance of succeeding. We now have four counties. Awesome. And we now have the opportunity to construct our special building, the gold mine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once this is done, this will more than double my gold. I'm super happy about this. I'm just waiting another four months so I can get this first perk here to reduce the cost of building my gold mine. I do have enough gold to build it, but I want that little bit of a discount before I do it. Okay, so we can pick up cutting cornerstones, and now if we go over here, you can see it costs us 380 gold to build the gold mine, four years, but I'll actually stay in the stewardship tree, so I can pick up professional workforce to decrease this even further before switching back over to the martial tree. Yeah, one of my vassals in like 10 wars. He's having just a great time. I'm like, I don't even know what he's doing. He's just out here killing, trying to live a peaceful life. Oh, he just, he do be killing though. Oh, I see why you wanted to be this, uh... The little boy, yeah. You wanted this Schwartz Mining Settlement, eh? Uh, the Schwartz Mining Settlement is one of the great. Freaking, what is this? Schwartz? Schwaz. Schwaz. Schwaz Mining Schwaz Settlement. Schwaz Mining, baby. What kind Schwaz... of ore are you mining over there? Oh, it's a great ore. It's, you, ever, you ever played Deep Rock Galactic? Oh, wow. Looks like, uh, looks like somebody's going up the martial lifestyle. It's almost like you got cutting cornerstones to build your mine and then are going to be going back to gallantry. Huh. Hmm. We'll never know. Who could have predicted that one? So after that lovely chat with Ottawa, I have to say... I'm a little bit nervous. Now I feel like I have to develop a full plan to make sure I'm not left in the dust here. Also, of course, I should have realized the reason he chose this tiny county is because there's another gold mine here. This guy's always got a card up his sleeve. I wonder if there's any sheep around these lands. Sheep like hills, right? So my wife is doing a great job of pumping out the kids. We now have three sons. So if I get one more son, we can fill out the bingo slot so hopefully we can get our wife pregnant again i've also decided to start swaying this vassal over here because you can see if we go to revoke his title um you can see this one here and we actually have a 52 percent chance which is pretty good odds but you can see it's getting modified by his opinion of us so if i raise this opinion more by swaying him it'll actually go up higher which will increase our odds of getting it without having to declare a war for it all right let's try and imprison my wife for the third time execute yes Yes. Let's find a good wife. 
Oh my god, there's a genius out there. There's another genius out there. Let's uh, throw in four and get it going here. Beautiful. Send that proposal. If we can have a kid with tier three, I will be super happy. And we've got the perk gallant. So let's pick that up. And then we don't have to be in the stewardship tree anymore. Because this 10 year old's actually in charge of the whole country. I'll actually start a independence faction just so I'm ready to pass it when I feel like the time is right. I think our gold mine is about to finish. Yeah, here we go. So it just finished and you can see the gold in here just skyrocketed to 4.20. Money. Okay, so I waited long enough. I swayed him to up to 66 positive opinion with us, which means if I go over here and try to revoke his line, we have a 72% chance. Let's pray that this goes through. Please, Ottawa, press the play button. I'm on the edge of my seat here. Okay, um, so let's kill some peasants here. Uh, you know what, before we kill some peasants... Please press the play button. Let's declare war up here uh, for our claims of this one little county. I'm dying to know what's going to happen. I will then raise all my troops. I'm going to send them right into these peasants and then swing them up and around. I'm also going to... Please, please, please... Call my newfound allies to war. Um... Four. Press the play button. Beautiful. And it did not go through. What the heck, man? So after that battle takes us to 100%. We're going to get a good amount of tyranny from that, but I am a fan of having more land. Yeah, so he's pretty weak. Even with his vassals, I don't think he's enough. He's strong enough to stop us. So I'm going to press my demands here. We'll see if he accepts or if he if we have to go to war with him. And it looks like war it is. It looks like we have a more elite army than these guys, so we should be able to clap them up. Oh no, come on, baby. Big dub skis. All right. Perfect. Okay, so we won that. So let's just march right in for his capital and take it. So I was worried the computer was going to run and spank my troops over here because he does have enough men to do it. But instead, he decided to capture my own piece of land, which is definitely the wrong move because right after I capture this guy's four, I should be at 100% war score. There we go. So we can go enforce our demands. And you can now see that we are again our own nation which serves no other purpose than us filling out a card on the bingo sheet. You have 800 dudes only? What's happening? I'm in, I'm in a war though, I just lost a bunch. Yeah, I, I have like a thousand normally. Your son looks fucked up with the scars on his face. For some reason his wife is just like, I'm, I don't know, I've never seen that hairstyle before. Oh, that's a classic French woman, short yeah, hair. That's what it like, it just looks <laughs> funny. Like she was just in the background, looked pretty depressed. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend. My stupid wife, bro. She, she, I think she's too old now. She's 40. But she, when she was 38, she got pregnant again because I seduced her. And I was like, oh, this has to be a boy. And it was this Aww. stupid daughter. We'll see how the cards roll on this one. I think I know what you're... Well, I thought I... I was like, is he going for the bottom row? But you have, like, no men. Like, there's no way he's going for the bottom <laughs> row. Well, no men yet. Just wait and yeah. see. I'm gonna. That takes. I think getting to 10k from 1k takes like a decent amount of time. Nah, nah, but... not when you're Welsh. Yeah, you throw a couple of helmets on some sheep. You're it's... in. They got. They got enough sheep <laughs> in Welshman's land. I'll tell you that much. All right. So I'm convinced he's going across the top. Sleep with direct family. Get 10 gold. Max gallant. Four eras and break away from Leash. He's already broken away from Leash. He's almost got the max gallant. He's almost got the 10 gold. So he's really just banking on the four heirs and sleeping with his direct family members. I'm going down this one. The Max Gallant redirecting the Crusade, becoming obese, and having Max administration. Um, I think I can do it in the next life. Like, if I have another life after this, I think I could do it. All right, just got out of the call with Ottawa. And I think he's going bottom row. I think he's going bottom row. He's got the red congenital on his heir. If you check his wife... He recently changed marriages um, to this lady who has the genius trait. So I feel like he's going to try to pump out some genius kids to get to tier three. But I think what will put us over 10 gold is actually when we switch off of authority focus on to stewardship focus for the plus three stewardship, uh, which will take away this minus 20% to our taxes. And then that definitely will put us above 10 gold. Okay, we have another chance here. Our wife just became pregnant again. Oh my goodness, at 42. I really hope this one's a boy. Oh, we've done it. That's a son. Let's go. Oh, hot damn, we had a son. Oh, and he's a genius. Oh, oh yeah, oh. baby. Oh, the 
mother flipping genius. Have you ever seen anything like it? So now, as you can see, we have four errors, which is perfect because now we can cross off the four errors bingo slot. Oh, and my wife is pregnant again. If we could snag one more boy, we are in the money. Damn it, we had a daughter. Should have been a boy. Let's see if we can grab a quick counselor here. So let's find, look, anybody, 23, 27. Marry her off, perfect. Oh, baby, here we go, here we go. She's got 27. Benedicta, 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 you beautiful, beautiful woman. And we can also host a feast, so we'll go ahead and do that. We aren't gaining too much weight. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay, you don't have to get pregnant again. We already have the four heirs. It's enough out of you, please. Okay, so we're about to get our next perk, which is the Gallant perk. Here we go. So we'll pick up Gallant. Beautiful. Switch over to Domain Focus. Look at this, plus 10 gold. That's how you kill two birds with one stone right there. So now all we have to do is sleep with a direct family member. Oh, and we had another son. Doesn't really matter if it was a son or a daughter, but we got seven kids, so we're up there. So honestly, all we have to do is get Living Legend and break free from our leash. So that will be quite interesting. We can definitely do both of those things. He's still only distinguished level, so he would have to go up three tiers in the level of fame. So I don't think he is going down the O column because if he was he would have to be making some serious moves and i don't even know if it would be possible at his age i'm actually gonna flip on over to the learning tree and grab the medicinal focus so i can live that extra little bit of time how old am i a 50 one it's gonna be a rough shout oh baby i can actually seduce my daughter so i'm gonna go ahead and start that oh no Oh, so it looks like that did not work. Okay, well, we do have another daughter, but she's five. So it's going to take a while for her to get old enough for us to try to seduce her. I should have thought about that first and switched over probably to the temptation focus, which gives us more attraction. Okay, so I'm going to try to claim the throne Yoink. from my liege, and we have a really high percentage chance this works out. Oh, and we also made over 10 gold per turn, so we're really pumping it out here. Let's do, let's become rackish. I was really hoping we could get gluttonous or like comfort eater or something like that. But all right, and we can host a feast again. Let's see, maybe we get obese. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe he's obese. No, it doesn't look like it. I am actually so confused. I have no idea what this guy could be going for. Oh, I'm also realizing I, have, I myself have seven kids. So I'm going to fill that one out because um, if I do get enough of these other bingo slots, maybe another option will present itself to me. And if we were able to hit 15 development, which would take a while, but if we were able to do that, um, it opens up the middle row option for us where we would just have to kill a kid, get 15 development and found a kingdom. And I think founding a kingdom would actually be the easiest thing to do on that list. So, you know, keeping all our options open here. I have no idea what you're going for. Oh. It's, I, I got a plan. So you just got me, you got me scratching my head, I'll tell you that much. Oh, you best keep scratching. Uh, okay, uh, let's take a look at you. Well, you broke from your liege. I don't really see where you're, well, I, I guess you're going across the top, right? So as soon as you sleep with a family member, like, I'm, I'm toast. Just fighting somebody willing to sleep with me, my I, ugly self. I have that issue in real life. We just usurped this guy's duchy. So now if we go over here to the kingdom of Bohemia, you can see the only thing that we need to create this is 500 gold. So I will just chill for a few years now and let our gold income build to 500 so that we can do that. Honestly, if I could live another 10 months, I'm in such good shape. Does that look like a man that's got 10 months left to live? I don't think so. Oh, 90% with chance we get East Frankia. Yeah, here we go, baby. All right, so it's time to press my claim on the kingdom of East Francia. I'm going to raise all my troops here and just see how she goes. So I'm just here dealing with vassals and I go and click on Ottawa's land. It looks like he's in a war for the whole kingdom of East Francia. Come on, grab him. Grab him, the slippery bastards. Oh, they're running away. Can you please pick him up? Please and thank you. Come on, jump in. Here we go. This is going to decide the whole war. Oh, my days. Yes. Yes. Oh, we're in the money here. Mega Chad is dead. That's totally cool. He did not deserve it, but it's fine. Look at this one that's opening up. Kill your own kids. 15 development. Found a kingdom and have seven kids. Oh, my days. If we actually capture this, we got this in the bag. I think we're going to win perk from the intrigue tree which gives us plus 30 percent to our seduction schemes 
So here we go. Let's see what the odds are here. Oh no, and it's because she's gay. She, we actually don't even have the opportunity to do it. Why are you gay? Oh, that's just tragic. Okay, I really have to find a way to kill my character here. Okay, so we do at least have 500 gold now, which means we should be able to create the kingdom of Bohemia. So I'll go ahead and do that. We've rolled over to 100%, so it's time to enforce our demands. We are now the mighty East Francia. Would you look at that? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, look at this. This county has a development of 15 in Italy. That's the next thing I'm going to do is try and just grab it. It's the county of Lombardy. So I think I just hatched a beautiful idea. So there's no way I can sleep with any of my kids. This one's gay. This one already hates me and I can't find a way to get my guy killed. So one thing we could do is instead of building up the development in our own land to 15, we could try to find somewhere that has 15 development already and then declare war for that. So I was looking around the map and look at this beautiful county right over here, Lombardia. It has 15 development, but then all we will have to do is declare war for it. Win the war, we'll have 15 development. We just have to kill one of our other kids simply by imprisoning them and then um, executing them. And then we'll win the game. Oh my goodness, this is my chance. I actually just got cancer also. Leave me be. Let's take no treatment for this and oh my god, we actually will die. Okay, so we actually just died. Oh my god, look at this little dude. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna wait until we have the seduction perk unlocked for this, and then we'll try to seduce our daughter. If that doesn't work, we'll still go ahead with the plan of the invasion of Sicily. Okay, and we have the option to press the claim. Let's see it done. So I just tried setting up a couple alliances because I think we are pretty much ready to go. What? Zeli is going after the same county I am. Do we have literally the same idea? What? Okay, uh, I gotta, I gotta go in, boys. Let's raise all my armies. How did he have the same idea as me? He must be going for the exact same one. So this should only take nine months, so it's pretty good. Oh wait, what the heck is going on here? Oh no. It looks like Ottawa also declared war for the same exact duchy. He must be going for the same tree as me in the bingo game. All right, time to go in, baby. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, my leg! <laughs> so we were defeated in Lombardia. Alright, here we go, here we go. Where's the capital of Italy? Sicily's all the way down there. Okay, I kind of have to defend this a little bit. Oh, perfect. Let's go get him. Oh, why are the French here? What's wrong with the French here? Okay, so my French allies have just arrived here also. Oh no! He added him to the war! Oh, I gotta call some allies now. Maybe if I take enough land and, um beat Sicily's armies fast enough, I'll be able to get to 100 war score before Ottawa does and then take the Duchy of Lombardia. So it looks like he's at plus 21 right now and we're only at plus one. Oh, I'm one-legged. Oh no, <laughs> set for a position now. I'm gonna try taking Lombardia right after I finish getting this county. Okay, so we're taking the fort in Lombardia and we have our Bulgarian and French allies with us, which will hopefully deter Ottawa from coming to attack me. Oh man, he's gonna take it. I would have to go in, but my allies aren't here. Okay, what do I? What can I do in the way of mercenaries? Three hundred and ten already hired. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I got a. I got a cash infusion because of that. Perfect. Okay, I can grab these guys. That's another seven hundred elite soldiers. Let's send them in here, lads. So we took Lombardia, bringing our war score up to fifty-eight percent, and now we actually dropped Ottawa's war score down to fourteen. If we get into a battle with this guy and actually do a lot of damage, it could bump us up to 100%. We'll see. We need to get make sure to get a big win. <gasps> oh my goodness, and it did actually. Look at this. Let's enforce our demands. Oh no, he got it. Oh no. <laughs> so now we have a land that has 15 development. Let's cross that off the list. Go over to my son. Imprison this guy. Here we go, all we have to do is press execute and we will win the game. There we go, we get the trait Kingslayer, but it doesn't matter because we have finished our bingo card. Alright, let me hop into a call here with my good friend Ottawa and we'll 
see what he has to say about this. Can I get your opinions on that finish? Right down to the wire. I was trying to be, I was trying to be chivalrous. I saw you only had 2,000 dudes. I said, ah, I won't, I won't stack wipe them here. I'll just go. And then all of a sudden France comes out of nowhere. France was in a war actually. So like they didn't join right away, but they just finished it. So they were able to come after. Dude, so totally for the boys. So when I saw France, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to need backup here. I call all my allies into war. None <laughs> of them show up. Like zero, and then I die, and they're not my allies anymore. I'm like, bruh. But you weren't too chivalrous. You still attacked me right in the middle of. Well, like, right, man's got to do what a man's got to do. But I wasn't gonna like rub it in. <laughs> Next time the gloves are off. I agree. <laughs> Thanks so much again for having me. Not a problem, my good friend. You can come back anytime. And where can these good viewers find you? Uh, yeah, people can look me up. My channel is Ottawa Welshman. And of course, his links will be in the description down below, as well as the extra rules that we used for this game. And actually, episode two of CK3 Bingo will be up on my channel. So if people want to go check it out there, they can totally do that. Thanks so much again for having me. All right, that's enough out of you, Ottawa. Get out of here. I also just wanted to take a second to thank you, the humble viewer of this video. Ottawa and I put a lot of time and effort into this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, that's it from my end. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I love these guys. They make funny with their mouths. <laughs>